So we're going to begin in child's pose. Come down onto your hands and your knees. Touch your big toes together behind you. Separate your knees apart. Sit your hips onto your heels and then relax your torso down. Bring your forehead to the floor. Arms stretched out in front of you. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And release it out. Deep breath in. Release it out. Relax here for several deep breaths. Slowly come up onto your hands and your knees. Bring your shins parallel to one another. Feet, tops of the feet are on the floor behind you, and your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Spine is flat from the top of your head all the way down to your tailbone. We're going to move through several cat and cow stretches. So on your inhale, tuck your toes and arch your back, looking up, spreading your shoulders as wide as you can and then arching your back for cow pose. Exhale, untuck your toes, and curve your spine in the opposite direction for cat pose. Inhale, tuck your toes and arch your back, working through your whole spine. Exhale, untuck your toes and curve for cat pose. Reach that upper back all the way up towards the ceiling. Inhale, come back to your cow. Tuck your toes. Feel your back arching. Exhale, untuck your toes. Cat pose, looking towards your legs. Continue to move on your breath, inhaling with each cow pose in your arch, and exhaling with each cat pose and move through a few more rounds of cat and cow on your own timing. Slowly come to a flat back, neutral spine. Inhale, tuck your toes. Move your hands just slightly forward and then straighten your legs into a downward facing dog. And move your legs, pedaling your legs just a bit, adding some movement in your downward facing dog to gently warm up the leg muscles. Breathing as you move. Maintain your upside down V shape as you're moving. And slowly come to stillness in your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. From here, lower your body down into a plank pose and bring your body into one straight line from the top of your head all the way down your back, down your legs, to your heels. Hold plank, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. One more deep breath in. And on your next exhale, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. We're gonna flow through down dog and plank several more times. Inhale, lower your hips down to plank and hold here. Exhale, 
Exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. On your next inhale, lower your body back down into plank and hold. Feel the outer edges of your body squeezing in towards the center line. And then feel your whole body in that straight line. And on your exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more time, lower your whole body into plank and hold. Take one more deep breath in. And send your hips up and back on your exhale, downward facing dog. From here, raise your right leg all the way up behind you. Keep those hips even with one another. And then step the foot forward in between your hands. Bring the knee, the right knee, directly above your right ankle. Stay on the ball of your left foot and then raise your torso up for high lunge. Reach your arms up energetically, lunge forward into your right leg. Hold for one deep breath in and deep breath out. And then plant your palms flat. Step back into plank. Lower just halfway down and then press into an upward facing dog arch. And then exhale, lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out here. And on your next inhale, raise your left leg all the way up behind you. Step the foot forward, knee above your ankle. Raise your torso up into high lunge on the left. Keep lunging forward into your left leg. The back leg is straight, energetically reaching up through your arms. And then lower your hands down to frame your foot. Step back into a plank. And you're going to move through a vinyasa by lowering halfway down, flipping to the tops of your feet, pressing into upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. We're going to repeat that sequence once more on the right and the left. Inhale, raise your right leg up behind you. Step the foot forward. Knee above your ankle on the right, high on the ball of your back foot. Reach your arms up for high lunge on the right side. Hold and breathe. Back leg is straight, reaching your arms up, lunging forward. Take an exhale, bring your hands down. Step back into plank and move through a vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time on the left. Inhale, raise your left leg all the way up behind you. Step it forward. Knee above your ankle on the left. High on the ball of your right foot. Reach your arms up for high lunge on the left. Lunge forward into that left leg. Back leg is straight. Energetically reaching up through your arms. And press the hands down. Step back into plank and move through a vinyasa. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Hold here and breathe. From here, raise your right leg all the way up behind you. Step it forward in between your hands. Drop your left knee down onto the floor, untuck your toe, and breathe here in your low lunge. Stretching the front of your left hip, softening the right hip socket, breathing deeply as you stretch. From here, shift your weight back onto your left leg. Straighten your right leg and flex your right foot. Keep your hands down to frame your right foot and keep folding over the right leg 
stretching the back, the entire back of your right leg. So your hamstring, your calves, your glutes even, and just breathe in this stretch. On your next exhale, lunge forward into your right leg, plant your palms onto the floor, tuck your left toe and step back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. From here, raise your left leg all the way up behind you. Step the foot forward, knee above your ankle on the left. Drop the right knee down, untuck your toe, and then remain here in your low lunge on the left, softening the left hip socket, stretching the front of your right hip, and breathe deeply. From here, shift your weight onto your right leg, straighten your left, flex your left foot, and fold over your legs, stretching the back of your left leg, the glute, the hamstring, and the calf muscle, and breathing as you stretch. And lunge forward into that leg, tuck your back toe, step back, downward facing dog. Take one more deep breath in and out in your downward facing dog. And you can drop down onto your knees and sit onto your heels. From here, feel free to take a Shavasana if you would like or to continue stretching. But if not, you can meet me in the cross-legged position. Crossing your shins in front of you, flexing your feet. Bring your hands to your legs, sit up tall, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And release it out through your nose as well. And bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste.